Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the concept of transparency. Uh, and I'll explain why this is something that might be of interest to you and, and be a useful tool for you. So let's take a look at the uh, this camera here. And what you'll notice is uh, this camera, like some real cameras that you might have at home, uh, will have this little slot that's made in order for a, a lanyard or you know a small uh, tiny rope for you to put in there so that you can hold the camera with your hand. So in order to make one of those um, accurately, transparency as a tool will come in handy. So I'm going to bring you over here to the previous model of the camera. And in this, this camera, you'll notice that it doesn't have those holes yet. And so I've, uh, prior to starting this video, I've taken a couple of rectangles and I've put them together and made them smaller to get this shape that will eventually become a hole. But as I'm placing it into the camera to get the area that I want, you know, you can kind of approximate where you want things to be. And if you kind of look, if I zoom in here, you'll see that there's even some lines that will show you where this object will reside inside this one. But it looks much better if you use transparency. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on the camera itself. And under the solid settings, I'm going to set to transparent. And by doing that, what it allows me to do is take that existing model and see through it. Okay, and now that I'm seeing through it, I can look at my what will eventually become my uh, hole for the lanyard. And I can place it exactly where I think it should go. And I'm kind of looking at it from all angles. And I'm seeing that this is probably a good spot. I might move it over this way a little bit. OK, and I could tell where it intersects with the original model. If I look closely, I can see the color changes here. That looks really good. So what I'm going to do now that I'm ready is I'm going to click on my model again turn it back to uh, non-transparent. And then I'm going to click on my uh, piece that I made here, turn this into a hole. And now when I select the two of them and I group, I'm going to get the spot that I needed to place the lanyard. So that's where transparency comes in handy. Anytime you need to look through an object to make measurements inside it, transparency will be a big help. OK, I did want to bring up one other area where transparency uh, can be very helpful. So let's just say, for example, you were trying to make a cup out of this uh, cylinder. Um, here, here's what I would do. I would take the original cylinder, and I would make a copy of it. Again, I'm using Option. I'm holding down my Option key as I drag. And then I would make a cylinder that's just a little bit smaller and maybe a little taller and I'd bring it back inside. So this is how I would make my uh, hole that's going to become my cup. But in order to do this, uh, I, it would be helpful if I could see inside the original cup. And so by making that cup transparent using that same technique, I can now look inside the cup and see the hole that I want to take out of it. So in this case, uh, as you can probably tell, if I were to make a hole out of the the inner cylinder, the hole would go all the way through. And I don't want to do that since it's a cup. It needs to have a bottom. So I'm going to click on my inside cylinder, and I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a look and see, OK, that's about where I want the hole to be. And so I could click on this one, make it a hole. And then I could group the two. and hit group and then I'll just turn this one back to non-transparent I'll take the transparency off and there I have my cup so that's another good use of transparency